Hey everyone, this is Coach Joe Petri coming to you with my Day 48 update of P90X3 eccentric lower. Uh, we're moving this week. We're at the tail end of it. This will be my last video update of P90X3 in this room and in this house. Uh, tomorrow will be a brand new workout environment for me uh, in a new setting, new everything. I'm really excited for it, but at the same time, sad to see this space go. But just so you guys know, the space that I'm working out in is an extra bedroom, literally a six by six open floor space that I have to you know, roll around on the ground, do push-ups, jump, all that kind of stuff. So if that excuse of not having enough room to work out in your house is in your mind, you can do it. You just have to be willing to find that solution. Which brings me to this workout. I'm moving, so my head is kind of going eight different directions. Uh, <clears throat> this workout actually was supposed to happen yesterday, but due to the fact that we're moving boxes, organizing the new house, getting everything ready, I was exhausted by the end of the day, and my planned workout time came and went. So I did plan to do it, but I missed it. So things happened. So I just pushed everything back a day. I called yesterday rest day, and today was eccentric, uh, lower. And then tomorrow will be uh, incinerator, and then on Sunday will be MMX. Again, Saturday, that incinerator day, is supposed to be our complete moving day. And so we're going to be doing a lot on that day. So that's a question mark day. And you're going to have a couple question mark days during your 90-day period. So it's important that you give yourself some grace, some leeway. But at the same time, if you could fit it into your plan, just plan it. Make sure you plan it. Don't be like, oh, well, we're moving on this day. So there's no way I'm going to work out. Because if you say that, you're most definitely correct. You're, you're not working out on that day. But if you say, all right, I normally work out at 7 in the morning. People are coming at 8, which means if I need to shower, get ready, start packing, I probably need to get up an hour sh sooner. So again, what it's your priorities. What's important? Your results at the end of the line, or are you going to allow yourself to get distracted by other things? Plan your workouts, come in focus, and do the best you can. Uh, so kind of my last point today with focus, my focus was everywhere this morning. So I was just really trying to make sure I was getting the workout in, trying not to use the remote control uh, and the pause button or the back button as little as possible. I just really wanted to get through that 30 minutes <coughs> without many breaks. And what happened because of that, I was misreading my workout sheet and I was doing lighter weights for some workouts um, and not as heavy as I should have been or increasing them like for squats. Last time I did 35, today I only did 30 because I misread the sheet and I thought I did 20 last time. So I was like, all right, I'll increase it to 30. When in reality, the week before, I did 35. So I actually did 10 pounds, 5 pounds less than the week prior. So that's all. So again, take your time, but at the same time, you know, come in with intensity, come in with desire, come in with the, with the uh, passion that you want to improve. And you'll continue to have success and you continue to see gains and improvements with your P90X3 or workout in general. So anyways, that's it for today's update. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and connect with me on Facebook and ask us about our Team Vision Challenge group and how we can connect you with people just like you doing these workouts, looking for changes, looking for improvements, looking for just a better solution than what you're currently offered. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.